Oh. It's moving along. Oh my god! Loading CPM and help! Loading CPM? Oh! oh! Yeah! Success! Great Go! success! Yes! Huh. Ah. Well, that worked! Never ending saga of getting the Osborne drives working. We're gonna try cleaning the worm screw here and maybe this little bearing at the end here and also maybe cleaning up the rail here the cylindrical rail this rides on and then lubricating both okay so my son is giving this a scrub with some isopropyl alcohol though it looks pretty clean okay and we're trying to clean this off a bit and let's look at that cotton okay there's some goo is that goo supposed to be there i don't think that goo's supposed to be there no so internet is this supposed to be the appropriate amount of goo? Like, is this goo that it's good that we're getting rid of, or is this goo that was supposed to be there? And I only mention this because we don't actually know what we're doing here. Okay, and we'll get on the bottom of the drive here. Now, generally speaking, I don't think gray schmutz is supposed to be there. Let's see the cotton. Show the cotton to the camera. Okay, so we have this 301 all temp silicone lubricant. Okay, so I put a little silicon lubricant on here. I'm just going to kind of wipe this along here. So probably a little bit of it, this goes a long way, I'm guessing. Oh, and while I'm doing that, look, a bunch of more schmutz came off. Put some lube up here. Again, if you're watching this internet, hoping to find somebody who knows what you're doing, you should probably check out another video. I think we probably are supposed to lube this rail according to the internet. So for that, we're going to use the white lithium grease. Okay, so my son is cleaning this other part here. Oh, it's there's no way to get to the other side of it. Okay. To the extent you can try to get under there, but I realize there's going to be oh, wait, a limitation. I can just flip the door down and then kind of do this. Just uh, putting some silicon lubricant on this bit. See if I can get a little bit under here. Oh, and while I've been using this lubricant, there's something about that lubricant that really makes this black gunk come off. So the internet says I should lubricate the rail here. So I'm going to use some white lithium grease. Okay, so I put a few little dabs here. And rather than put on any more, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the head back and forth to kind of spread that out. Never mind. It doesn't actually go that far. So I'm going to wipe that up. Okay, I was way off. It needs to be kind of over here, not over here. Okay, so I smoothed it out with a paper towel and wiped it up over here, and I feel like I used too much. Welcome back to Professor Lanterman's Osborne Parade. Today, we have successfully lubed up the disk drive, so now we're going to give it a shot. On the left, we've got the drive. That says drive B, but we swapped it around, so it's drive A. Over here, we got the screen, so let's just press enter and uh, see what happens. Is that return? Yep. Here we go. Oh. It's moving along. Oh my god! Loading CPM and help! Loading CPM? Oh! oh! Yeah! Success! Great go! success! Yes! Huh. Ah. Well, that worked, okay? Uh, Did that seriously just work? Uh, that just worked. <laughs> um, all right. Moral of the story, folks, don't as underestimate white lithium grease. Okay, let's let's look at our saviors here. Three-in-one silicon. Uh, white lithium grease. Uh, okay, we'll be back. This is the main CPM boot disk. I think some of the other ones have games on them. Oh, uh, here we go, Pac-Man. Wait, hang on. What are the controls? No idea. A Try the number pad. Oh, there we go. It's the number... Ah. Okay, there we go. Did I just eat a power pellet? Oh, I, I think did. you did. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ha ha. Oh, I can go inside the ghost house. That is, um, overpowered. I guess this thing only had, like, ten bits of RAM. They couldn't really program a... Oh, dag nab it! Okay, so this is Osborne Chess. So before it was like that spring looking thing was all herky jerky and jittery. But now watch what happens when I load up Peepong. 
See, it's moving a lot smoother now. Yep. Huh. I guess you keep putting down little bouncy, springy things. So this one has Microsoft Basic, apparently. Yeah, there we go. So now we're going to run the same procedures on drive B, and yeah, there's some gunk coming off there. And once again, I cleaned it with isopropyl alcohol, and this is what came off when applying the lubricant. Okay, this is the second drive, and I have it cleaned and lubricated, and we'll now give it a shot. Okay, so we're trying drive two. Is it working? <laughs> yes, drive two now works. Okay, we'll try out the other discs. So cleaning the rail and the worm screw that moves the head around and then lubricating it with appropriate lubricants seems to have done the trick. Okay, sanity check now that we have the drives put back together. Here's disc A. Okay, type dir. No, not ear. It's not Spanish version of to go, the infinitive. Okay, let's try B colon. To B colon or not to B colon? That is the question. These drives sound very different, don't they? Yeah, they do. Okay, type DIR. Let's look at the directory. Yeah, I think we're good to go. All right, well then. So the last thing I want to do before declaring this restoration done is this power supply has a kind of capacitor called Rifa that tends to explode and I need to clean up some of this gun care. Anyway, uh, so we'll replace that capacitor, then put the machine back together.